Hi guys, I'm Amy. So today's video is going to be a Depop do's and don'ts. So it's just going to be basically what to do on Depop and what not to do on Depop. So I've got my little list here um, where I've written down all my little do's and don'ts. So I'm just going to get started. So the first one I've got is do and it's do have good genuine descriptions. So by that just have a clear description. Don't tag brands that it's not. Don't tag years it's not. Um, be clear in your description as well. Um, put if you know the year, put the year, the colours, um, the brand, the style, um, all of that. Just a nice clear description. So the don't is don't tag irrelevant brands or years. Like I just said, um, don't tag anything that it's not really because Depop don't like it and they'll probably take your item down and the more like honest you are with your description don't tag um, like any brands that it's not in um, because Depop have now got a rule where if you tag anything that it's not or you tag years that it's not from anything like that they'll remove your item and I think they are trying to clamp down on it a bit so I'll just be careful with that um, so yeah and just one more thing on that bit as well is if you do spam and put loads of tags and stuff like that Depop now have changed the algorithm so that your item would always be at the bottom of the search page so you're really not benefiting anyone by putting loads of tags just stick to where it is and you should be good so the next one I've got is a do and it's do have good clear photographs so basically um, take a good clear either flat lay or hanging photo or a modelled photo but if you can take a modelled photo and a flat lay or a hanging, the more options you've got, the more likely you are to be put on the explore page and things like that. And then you'll have less questions. Um, I ca we get a lot of messages sometimes about asking for um, like photos of it on and stuff. So if you've already got one, then you you know it's a bit easier for you. So yeah, that's just that one. So with that, don't take like um, a really crappy photo. Um, like crinkled up on your bed or something like that because it's just not it don't look as nice and people are less likely to buy it um the clearer and the nicer your photos are the more likely it'll sell because it's just the same as like a website if you're on that and you're looking at something and it looks really nice you're like oh yeah maybe but then if you look at something and it just looks crap then you're not gonna buy it so the next one is a don't and it's don't have in your bio no refunds no returns or not responsible after postage um, because it just looks really bad and it looks unprofessional but it's also law that you do have to refund someone so you are actually responsible after postage like because you've sent it it's on you to make sure that item gets to that person or they get a refund so it's always just better to just have a good like returns policy and a good um what's the word refund um policy and the other bit and as well the UK law is that the buyer gets however many days to return the item if they don't want it anyway um, so you are better off just offering a return um, otherwise you're probably going to end up with a bad review um, and they won't buy from you again and it just looks better all over if you just have a good returns policy it can be frustrating and annoying and it is but it looks better to have a good returns policy so the do is related to that as well so it's basically just offer returns it saves you so much hassle um you don't risk getting a bad review you don't miss depop you know messaging you or anything like that um and it, it gives like the buyer confidence as well if you're gonna if you can if they can return their item they're more likely to buy it because they know you're not going to rip them off or try and sell them something that's not good so yeah basically that's just that one so the next one i've got is a don't and it's don't overcharge for an item so there's so many sellers on Depop and if you're trying to sell something that's worth like say £10 so say like a £10 night t-shirt um, and you're trying to sell it for £50 and there's like three other sellers selling it for 10 they're going to buy from that seller they're not going to buy from you um, especially if you've not got many reviews and stuff like if you are new um, and what else did I get? unless like unless it's a really unique item 
um, or it's something that you can't find anywhere so you can't find it on like eBay sold or Depop or anything and it's something really random or something that you've made yourself then it's different you can kind of price it at what you think is fair but you know you're not going to get more than what something's worth really because I've seen it quite a bit where people you know try and overcharge a lot for like a standard night t-shirt and people aren't daft so the next one is a do and it's do offer free postage um, only in the UK or wherever you're from obviously you can't do international free postage because it's just way too much but Depop like it if you offer free pay free postage um, and it's just it's just an incentive for people like I know I'm more likely to buy some it if it's got free postage I don't know why I just you just kind of are so yeah it's always a good one but one good thing to do with that is price the item with free postage in mind so if you're gonna put it on for £20 and then charge £5 postage just put it on for £25 and free postage I don't know why but it just people just seem more attracted to free postage it just looks like they're getting a better deal so and it's worked for us really well so the next one is a don't and it's don't message people to buy your items so this can be if someone's liked your item don't message them uh, if someone follows you don't message them so Depop don't like it they class it as spam I know eBay and Vinted um, encourage you to message people but Depop don't so just be really careful with that because you can get a warning so the next one is a do and it's do bump regularly regularly um, so bumping if you don't know what that is it's basically you just go to the item and you go to the bottom of it you press edit save and then it just re then puts your item to the top of the page um and it just helps your item to be seen more and obviously because other sellers are doing this the more you do it the more you know likely your item is going to get seen don't do it too much so it's like too spammy but yeah it's a good thing to do so the next one is a don't and it might come across a little bit harsh but it's true so don't let me find it don't put your items on and expect them to sell in 10 minutes so if you're not going to bump and you're not going to um, like promote your page and stuff like that your items will take a little bit longer to sell um, and I think some people think that it's just a matter of like oh, I'll just put this crappy photo on uh, this item and it's going to sell in five minutes and I'm going to make loads of money um, it doesn't work like that so that's why like you need good photos and stuff like that so the next one I've got is a do and it's do offer discounts bundles to get a sale um, so if someone messages you and they want it a little bit cheaper then if you can accommodate them that's good you'll get the sale especially if you are a new seller and you've not really got any reviews or anything it's always good to maybe sell them a little bit cheaper at first it's what we did um, to get us reviews up when we first started um, and yeah it's just a good idea so the next one I've got is a don't and it's probably going to sound a bit harsh again but I really don't mean it to be um, but don't expect every person that messages you to buy the item so I know it's really frustrating if someone messages you and they say oh I want this item blah 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 and then you change the price for them and they don't buy it don't then message them kind of like do you want it you know why haven't you bought it or anything like that because everyone changes their mind like amount of times I've been in a shop and thought oh I'm gonna buy this and then by the end of walking around I thought no I don't want it and and that's all right so don't like you know harass people if they don't want to buy your item yeah it's really annoying and it's always good when people buy stuff but yeah just take that in mind but the next bits I've got aren't really a do's and don'ts because I sort of read this before I read the other bit <laughs> so if I repeat myself then I'm sorry so the first bit I've got is promote your page so follow people on Depop, like um, all the items on the explore page, um, when you're following people be careful not to be too spammy because obviously that looks bad um, but the more people you follow and the more items you like the more people are then going to see your account and go onto your account and then they might see an item that they want to buy and so on so it's just really good to promote your Depop. So the next one you could say is a do, um, it's do make sure your profit margin is double or higher so basically you need to take in to consideration fees and postage so if you're going to buy something for £20 from a wholesaler and then it's only worth £25 you're not going to make any money on it you, you're going to lose money um, no matter how much you know you, you want it to sell or anything like that it just it just won't because it's not worth that and um, so always before you buy things like before you buy stock always think about what it's going to be worth after and always sort of do like a little note in your head 
um, because the last thing you want to do is buy a load of stock that's not actually worth um, that's not going to get you any money back <laughs> well with that is only spend what you can afford on stock so we started with a fiver and we did fine don't put like all your life savings into some stock especially if it's like an online wholesaler or somewhere like that because you just don't know what you're going to get so it's better to really start slower rather than just diving in because you just you don't really know um, and obviously you need to figure out what's going to sell what's you know popular and stuff like that the next one is a do again um, and it's use Instagram to promote your Depop so you know even if you're just posting stuff to your Instagram story or you've got a separate page for your business it's just really good we've had quite a lot of sales come from Instagram um, not so much Facebook mostly Instagram so yeah that's always an idea obviously you don't have to but it's just an idea the more advertising the better and it's free so as well as Instagram there's TikTok so we use TikTok and it's really good because you can just get loads of views without having any followers so don't like forget about TikTok and you don't even really need to put anything fantastic on I've done some TikToks where I've just put pictures of the items um, and like a close up and a zoom and whatever um, with a, a popular song put it on TikTok and it's got loads of views I think we've had people come from TikTok as well to Depop um, you can put in your TikTok you know like oh, if your messages you can get 20% off um, and that encourages people and then you know as well then if they've come from TikTok so the next one is a do again and it's sell your first few items for slightly cheaper than what you'd maybe want to sell them for obviously don't rip yourself off if you're going to put something on for 15 maybe put it on for like 12 50 or 10 um, because that way then um, you're going to get reviews and the more reviews you get the more likely people are to buy from you because they're going to see your page is trustworthy and um, so yeah getting them first reviews in is always like a good thing and it helps with us um, and then you just kind of end up getting more and more sales and then more and more reviews and yeah the next one is kind of like a do and don't but um oh, let me find it so have items that people want um, and for a good price so it's really good when you're starting out to check you know like look in shops obviously we can't really do that now but look online so like look on urban outfitters look on top shop where anywhere um for ideas of what's in fashion like look at people on tiktok instagram stuff like that and um, because obviously anything will sort of sell on depop but if you've got an idea of what's easy to sell and good to sell then you kind of into a bit of a winner so you are better doing a bit of research and you can't put something on that's crap and expect it to sell for loads of money even though it's not worth that I've, we've had this sort of like discussion with people before and then don't overcharge for your items either people know what things are worth like they're not daft and if you do like sell something for a ridiculous price that it's not worth it's, it's just you might as well just scam someone it's just not it's not good so the next one I mentioned earlier in the video but it's just have a good shop policy so accept returns um, don't have anything in your bio like um, no returns or we're not responsible because sadly you are responsible after postage it's up to you to make sure the item gets there or they get a refund um, it just looks more professional and if you do do returns um, which by law you have to anyway but if you do offer them without someone kind of having to threaten you to do it um, then it just looks better and you're going to get a better review so the next one is a do again and it is use a lot of words in your descriptions so no spam nothing like that but like put you know the colour uh, the size the date pit to pit measurements length um, just anything like that like just look at the item and just describe it as perfectly as you can but yeah again remember no spamming no spam tags because it just won't help you you'll just end up going straight to the bottom of the page and then so the last one is probably the most important but it's don't worry about like getting verified or selling like a thousand items in a week just just do what you can focus on the things that Depop tell you to do so like photos description stock and everything else will follow um, don't like you don't have to spend thousands of pounds to start it we started it on five pound and we've seen people 
put loads and loads of money into it and, and then just be left with stock and you don't want to do that you need to sort of test the waters first see what you know what's going to sell what might sell better for you than some people and so on don't focus on little things like your logo or you know offering little stickers anything like that just focus on your sales um, because that's the most important thing so focus on your photos your sales your stock your customer service don't worry about you know like if you've not hit what you wanted like you can have a target that's fine but be realistic about it um we started with five pound and we've sold how many items have we sold like about 1500 items um and we never really focused on getting the blue tick um we just kind of woke up and we had it they'd emailed us before like saying that they'd put us into the trial thing and whatever but I mean, it's good to have, but it's really not like a be all and end all. It's you don't really get that much more from it. Um, so don't kind of like strive for that. Just strive for sales and um, is strive the right word. And make sure you get enough stock as well, um, so that you can do it consistently. And obviously, the more you've got on your page, the more money you'll probably make because obviously, the more you're gonna sell. Um, but I wouldn't throw like all your money away on like one big bail or something like that because you're just not sure what's going to come in it and we were always quite careful and quite lucky when we bought bales and stuff um, but we do like don't have massive like massively high expectations as well because wholesalers have to send you you know like they'll send you good stuff but they have to send you the just okay stuff as well because that's their business just like ours is selling obviously just single items so as well, you need to just remember that it takes time on Depop. Um, you're not going to like suddenly sell 500 items overnight. You've got to put effort in, you've got to put the time in, you've got to get the stock, you've got to find find the stock, so you've got to figure that out. Um, there is a lot of Depoppers and stuff that will help you um, find stuff, but you are better off just doing it on your own. So this little bit might sound bad again, sound like I'm in Arj, but don't go into it thinking you're going to be like the biggest thing on Depop because you need to just focus on the important things and everything else will come after that. Um, you've got to be realistic. So if you want to head over to Instagram, I'll be doing um, some more videos on there and getting people involved. Um, I'll probably be doing a series of these videos. Um, so if anybody wants any like advice or anything like that you can message me on here or on instagram that's fine um what else would i see so if you are still watching um oh, i've just had a total fucking brain fart so if you are still watching thank you so much um if you could leave um a like a subscribe if you could leave a comment in the comments <laughs> um we can have a chat um tell me which tip helped you you know if you've used it if you've used it before um, yeah, I am going to be doing like a series of these videos about Depop um, but if you are here for the fashion videos that I do, if you are, um, then I am still doing them. I'm just going to do these as well um, just to try and help people if I can. So yeah, that's the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching if you still are and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.